So now that your uh, television series, in, in particular, and, well, and your film, as well as infiltrating pop culture around the world, right. you're not just receiving you know, a lot of Hollywood, you know, a lot of UK product now. Does that change your mindset as actors? Do you think, like, you know what, I want to go to Toronto and start filming uh, shows. I want to go to Los Angeles and start spending more time there. Does, do, you, do you see your, does your world view become, has it changed, has it gotten bigger now that you're... The world is much more smaller yeah. than it was. It used to be, yeah, definitely. And I think the way we work and also the way we, we talk and communicate with people from, for instance, the States, uh, completely, uh, like, it's very mutual. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, and I think there's a lot of people going back and forth. You're no longer the little brother. And they're exactly. like, oh, you know, pat on the head. Uh, exactly. Dan you know, Danish guys. Right, right. Like, but still, oh, then, shit, then you, you have to be proud legit. of... You have to be proud of where you come from because your whole, like your whole core of what you're doing is you have to be proud of the fact that you come from this local place and you have a certain uh, way of thinking, a certain way of uh, express, spre expressing yourself. And, uh, and that comes only from, from where you come from. So it's, it's a predicament. You have to be very honest to where you come from in terms of being special and going to this, uh, what someone, someone would call mainstream kind of a way of telling stories. But also think that, I mean, if you go back in time like 10, 15 years, if you, uh, if you were a foreign actor, especially in American production, you could be the guy who was Russian or the French, whatever, or even some guys from the uh, Balkan areas. But today it's like, uh, there's, there's much more respect uh, concerning Scandinavian actors and even directors. So, and you can, you can feel that. I right, mean, right, exactly. Yeah, we, we have a lot of, you know, there's a lot of attention of people yeah. coming from Scandinavia. And I also do think that it's because you probably don't know where we come from. But you, you can always hear the accent, oh, that's a French guy, that's a right, Russian, right. That's I a see. blah, blah, blah. I see. But I mean, like, you, like we talked about before the interview, uh, who are you guys coming well, from we all We don't know where Denmark is on the map. <laughs> exactly. I mean, <laughs> Even and let's, let's keep it as a secret, yeah. right? right? <laughs> but you know, also your guys, I mean, the States, for instance, are uh, like, uh, North America's perception of, of Europe, it's, it has also changed. I mean, just because you have an accent, you don't necessarily have to kill someone in a movie. I mean, uh, I was going to say, you're probably, you're probably cast as bad guys yeah, in, all, in English uh, A lot of yeah. Yeah. bad guys, yeah. Mostly. Yeah. Oh, he's not. I am. Oh. You are? But look at that face. It says, you're seeing blue eyes. Yeah, I just, uh, <laughs> stop yeah. it. Yeah. He eats, he eats <laughs> children for a living. Yeah. That or he's going to rob my, yeah, rob the bank. Um, exactly. Uh, well, <laughs> but that's a nice job. Robbing banks? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's playing bad guys. Nice job. Yeah. I mean, in the fiction world. Mm -hmm. Getting to love go villains. into that, that world and oh, yeah. be, being uh, an evil character. I love the civilians. Yeah. Well,
when so now that there's a lot more opportunity uh, worldwide, I assume there's a lot more opportunity in Denmark because they're making more shows. Prior to that, were, did did you wish that you had been American? Did you wish that you had been able to spend more time in America? You know, because of the opportunity there. That's a good question. Um, I think when I was a child and even a teenager, I would have loved to be born in the U.S. But uh, I'm becoming 50. I'm so happy of being a Dane. And uh, I'm totally solid with my friends and family in Copenhagen, which is the capital of Denmark. That's where but, they make the furniture, right? Just so right, you know. Right. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. No, of course. It's not, it's not because I'm not ambitious and would love to go to the U.S. And, and I have been there and also in UK, but I mean, and then she would say, you need the, uh, the piece of meat should be uh, very fruity and it should actually be very tasty, if, if it isn't. Um, it, I would love to say no. Okay. No, just talking about if you, there's a lot of offers, right, right. but it's, it's, it's uh, still mainly a small part, right? right? It's not that I don't want to go, but- uh, Has to be a reason for it. Has to be a reason for it. And it's not only the money. Mm -hmm. And you? I mean, I, now that now knowing what you know, um, if I, I, you can He's still so, change so the world. Well, it has to be. I'm not. I have never like really worked for the, for, for instance, the accent. That's a big thing. That would that be would be the only thing that you really would love to 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 like get right to in order to to get more work over here. And I haven't really like constantly worked on it. So that must be for a reason. I mean, uh, that must be because I'm quite content with uh, what I have, but I always love to work over here. And I've done that, I've one, uh, worked twice in, in Canada and uh, like many times in the States. So, so I, it's, it's really fun to, to work over here once in a while. Mm -hmm. But you know, usually I, you get to play the villain or something like that. But, but uh, uh, it has to be with the work and, and with the part. Is it funny? Is the story interesting and stuff like that? course. Well, so telling, uh, so let's say you're talking to uh, an aspiring actor who uh, lives in Scandinavia today. I mean, I, I'm sure you have friends. Uh, what do you tell them now that you guys have been successful? I have friends. You have friends who yeah. are aspiring young actors. I have friends that are aspiring and, and they, they're really seeking more and more like overseas and stuff. And, and really? They, yeah, they, they do. And it, it works well. I mean, they, they go, they're going for it, and that's great. And, and the world is smaller, and the way, the, you, as I said before, the perception of of Europeans has definitely changed. So you're much uh, easier part of of, uh, of being in uh, North American productions. I think it's it's working well. But you have to have the, as you said, the aspiration, the, the ambitions about uh, uh, what do you want to achieve, mm -hmm. and you can get it. That's the great thing about that story. Um. What's on TV and in the cinemas in Denmark? Is it, a, is it predominantly Danish and Scandinavian Mostly shows? eye operations. What's that? There's mostly eye on operations in the, in the television. But apart from that. What, what is that? Eye operations. Oh, eye operations. <laughs> All right, uh, that's, that's I think I totally Lou, normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it, that was Lou Reed that said that. I don't get scared. He was asked once, I don't get scared. I get scared like in Sweden. There's always an eye operation on the television. <laughs> uh, no, but I am. Um, um, what's on the television? That's everything that you would guess would be on the television. This. But you know, the funny thing is, we have this uh, public service thing going on with our biggest uh, uh, TV station, this Danish radio broadcasting company, and it's actually taxpayers' money. Uh, and the series we're talking about, The Killing, Bargain, etc., they are produced for taxpayers' money. And they have this kind of principle that even if, if, even if it becomes, it becomes a huge success, there will only be like 20 or 30 episodes, and they will stop it. And then the next step will be like, okay, produce another and another and another. And sometimes it, they change the theme. Now it's like a family-based, Oh, now it's like a crime case, and uh, a lot of people actually, you know, asked me why don't we? Uh, it's becoming more of bargain, mm. and I have to say no, we stop. But but why? Right. Because it's like that's that's the way how, especially DR is producing TV shows, and and I think it's actually, in the good way, it 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 it, it will never become only a commercial product coming out. It's actually 
taxpayers' money. So we need to move on and it's, do something it's else. It's very interesting that, first off, the government is financing these high-quality, provocative shows that have provocative you know, uh, stories, and also that they are, it almost seems like they're just trying to be they're innovative. You don't in America. You don't think of the government as being innovative. We don't want them to get too much involved no, into no. the arts, right? Right. Um, and at the same time, it sounds like they are there, and they're forcing you to change the formats. And in a way, I suspect that also probably helps the churn of of the actors, so that more more actors probably get more opportunity. Right. Right. You right. know, because you, you get one actor in the same show for seven years. Exactly. You know, you can mix it up. That is a really <coughs> unusual concept. Exactly. And there's a bunch of station I mean, need networks that also do TV shows, and they're not that as popular. They're not like commercial. Uh, stations they're, they're not a po as popular as these shows going traveling overseas uh, coming from the 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 network dr yeah that is <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> very thoughtful pensive moment there yeah. um I, I we saw the danish come out in you which was like cold and stoic and and uh you're you're planning you, you know how you're going to take over uh, the world um what, hopefully <laughs> hopefully <laughs> You hope or what? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. I, uh, guys, I really appreciate uh, your it's time. Been a Thank you so much for informing us um, a little bit into your world as professionals and the, 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 the industry of Denmark. It's, right. it's very eye opening, and I would love to have you, you back. And we wish your film a lot of luck uh, here around the world. I'm yeah, sure you're going to probably take it other places. We hope. And I look forward to seeing it. It sounds totally weird and bizarre and funny. And is it heartwarming? Can yeah, you say sure. that? Okay, awesome. Sure, sure we will. In, yeah, in the end, well, maybe. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, thank you so much. Um, I'm pleasure. Douglas Caballero. Uh, you've been watching Gatekeepers here at Nikki Beach at the Spoke Club. And uh, keep watching. You'll be watching more.